Mike Osti, Pittsburgh Sports Now, here at the East West Shrine Bowl in Las Vegas with Haba Baldonado, defensive lineman, looking to get himself now into the National Football League. So, Haba, how has this experience been here in Vegas? You mentioned it's your first time in Vegas. What have you thought of the city? I know the weather's not cooperating today. And then how has this been to kind of gauge yourself among so many of the great players in the country and see where you really stand before the draft? Uh, it's been a great week, you know, as you said, Vegas is an interesting place, you know, I didn't know anything about it, um, sitting in the middle of the desert with all these casinos, slot machines everywhere, it's definitely different, you know, something I've never experienced in my life, and as far as the week goes, uh, it's been fun, you know, it's been interesting, I uh, love to compete against everybody else that um, had the chance to play over here, uh, to learn from the great coaching staff, to learn from the other players, and I feel like I've dominated for the past Vegas, not like Italy at all. <laughs> no. um, what have you actually been hearing from NFL teams, their personnel, coaches that are here? Because obviously you had Pat Narduzzi, you had success at Pitt, won the ACC even, even last year. But it's a different level of being able to hear from the coaches that may actually be drafting you. What have they been telling you in particular about your game or whatever else? Um, you know, they just been giving me a couple of tips and tricks, you know, something that I have to tweak out in my game, something that they believe I should um, do a little better in. And uh, I just took everything in, wrote it down, and that's what I will be focusing on this offseason. What, what are they saying then if they're, ask, if they're giving you tips and asking you things to help, help you get better? Uh, something like pad level sometimes when I'm inside or uh, improve my open field tackle. Okay. How do you feel Pitt prepared you based on now what you're seeing, what you're hearing from coaches for that next level? I think that Pitt is one of the best schools in terms of this. You know, um, Coach Dewey's and Coach Parsons love to say that we act like we're professionals already in college. So everything that we do is just like the pros, the way we approach meetings, the way we studying the game, you know, meals and everything that goes in. We have the great um, opportunity of having the Steelers right next to us, you know, so we can look up to them every day and see how they prepare, what they do, uh, and how they behave. Have you talked with any Pitt alums that are already in the National Football League? Tyler Boyd, Kenny Pickett, you mentioned with the Steelers, obviously know him well. Have they gave you any advice about this process? Um, Tyler Boyd was before my time, so you right, know, right, 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 yeah. Him, but, uh, People like uh, Patrick Jones or Rashad Weaver, Jelly Twyman, and I talk to them all the times, and they be giving me um, suggestions and advice and on how to go through the process. And how to approach everything. You talked to Kenny? I've talked to Kenny a couple times. Uh, I was a little worried last time that he went down, so I, uh, I had texted him and stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, now what you mentioned teams are, are talking to you. Obviously, that makes sense. Any teams in particular that are standing out in terms of you feel like they're taking a liking to you or you're liking what they're saying and they're, they're standing out? It's hard to say right now, you know. I'm just meeting scouts pretty much right now. Uh, once we go to the combine, you know, I'll get to meet uh, coaches and GMs. So I'll have a better picture of what it's going to be like. Did you talk to the Steelers? I did talk to the Steelers. What, what were the Steelers saying to you about your game, about maybe anything you need to work on, or even any questions maybe that are off the wall? We talked to a lot of players, and some say that some of these coaches are diving into their personal life. Yeah, it was it was just really about personal life, like how did I grow up, like what did I do growing up, and just general questions about my story. Okay. Appreciate the time, man. Thank, Thank you. you.